<laughs> hey, let, let's move on to this last story of the day here. So, um, hope maybe you won't hate this guy as much, Ben. Uh, Leonard Boyarsky, mm. the creative director at Obsidian. Uh, he has recently come out and stated in an interview that their new game, The Outer Worlds, which is an RPG, will be political, but will not be politically charged. So he said that they're being very careful to not lecture players about its themes. But his description of those themes, which include power and how power is used against people who don't have it, does seem to be very political uh, at its core. So this is like really me nit- nitpicking for this story, but this kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And, and the reason I say this is that on the one hand, I feel like I really applaud this statement because we've talked a lot about how we don't want any politics in games. Like, at all. Like, we want zero. Um, and I still feel that way. But on the other hand, I feel like coming out and explicitly stating this, like, no, 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 like, there's no politics in this game. Like, we're working really hard to keep it out. It just seems, and maybe this is just, like, the state that I was in when I read this, it seems like it's being used as, like, a marketing point for this game. Like, hey, come buy this. Like, we're not political. Like, come on in. I feel like it's just as bad as putting the politics in. Like, just let the game and the story speak for itself. Right. I think I think putting politics in and then coming out and saying, like, no, 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 we don't do politics. It's just a different side of the same coin to me. I, I just didn't appreciate it. PR. Yeah. I, well, yeah, it's PR. I, I think that, like, uh, what the fuck are you talking about? It's a, it's an RPG. There's, there's going to be, you know, is it, a, I don't know much about this game. Is it, um, like a, is it a medieval or is it no like, it's space okay well yeah there's gonna be there's gonna be factions you know there's gonna be different planets maybe fighting each other or some shit like of course there's gonna be political aspects to it it's like why the fuck even say anything about it right like, it's stupid yeah. it's a role-playing game well, it's a story it's gonna have a fucking story to it <laughs> yeah what i don't like I, like the quote like him saying it will be political but it won't be politically charged I'll believe that when I see it. <laughs> it just doesn't need like, to be real world political bullshit. Yeah. Right, yeah. sure. Have it be game in the yeah. game's po- it's, politics. So it's natural. Know? That's yeah. natural, baby. They, We're all natural around here. The two characters yeah, can't, natural, baby. can't look like Donald Trump and like Hillary Clinton. And then you tell me, no, it's not politically charged. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Like, no, they, you can't do that. And it, who's to, like Ben said, it, and Dave said, like, we'll, we'll, we'll see it. You know, we'll believe it when we see it, but like, how can you say it's political but not politically charged? Like, are you, yeah, it doesn't so make sense. That's that's not your decision to make. That's right. Generally, the audience's view of of the politics involved here. Like, what are you trying to do with this? Is it really that groundbreaking that you have to like disclose? Like, don't worry, the charge is not enough to offend you. <laughs> it's a weak charge. Yeah, it's wild. <laughs> Yeah, it's silly. I, I like I said, any anything, uh, the politics of a made up universe, um, you know, or like like I was going towards like a, 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 in a medieval game, like where you get that Game of Thrones feeling where there's contention between, you know, families or you know for the throne or whatever for planet whatever. It's like that's cool. That's you need that, but don't fucking bring in like shit from our world damn it yeah i mean in modern times i'll even say that i i believe him and that he's not gonna have any politics or anything that's great but i just have already seen the videos popping up of everybody saying like oh great like i'm definitely buying this game like can't wait for it to come out i don't want politics in like let's support this and yeah and i get the standpoint and i i even like half-heartedly support it but there's a part of me that just sees this as being just as bad as putting politics in i just I, i don't like it it sounds to me now like it's a marketable coined term. Yeah, I agree. You know, like, like they talked about it in the boardroom, and then he came out and said it. Yeah, like, we're, we're, yeah. this won't be the last time we see this. It I was agree. like <laughs> it was like everywhere. It was like everywhere too. Yeah. When Mass Effect Andromeda had that character in it that legit said, "I'm trans," <laughs> like almost word for word. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> you can explain that to me in a sci-fi way that makes sense in the game, right? You know, like this character is asexual. Whatever, you know, we don't just, why do we need to have that term in the game? 
you know? yeah right like it's generally like good writing where these kind of like themes come out like if you wanted to, yeah. to make a political game about like the power struggles and, and that what this guy's gonna do like you don't come out people don't walk up and say to you like this is a power struggle like that's not <laughs> that's not like how it works right. that's not story right. development well you would though. that's you would just make bioshock yeah, you don't need to give yeah. me political. And then you get like the best power struggle game. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. And nobody was like, whoa, we're in the midst of a power struggle. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't remember need, Andrew Ryan saying that. Exactly. that he didn't say that. <laughs> Keep the political exposition out, all of it. You know, uh, make I'm it make gonna, sense within that. your world. Yeah, I agree. And like, I get, I don't know, I get the weird feeling that like it's going to be like they're going to have like an in game politics or whatever. I get that. But I feel like a lot of those game, a lot of things, like they make it, like it is the in-game politics, but like it, it is like transcending real politics. Like you know what I mean? It's like the same things, but with like different characters. You know what I mean? Like they, they it's portray cor- real world politics as the game yeah. with like di- different names and different themes yeah. and stuff, but yeah. it's still the same underlying. You know what I mean? It's just a different. It's a parallel to what's actually going on. It's just in a different way. That's what I get when I hear this. They're gonna say there's going to be that inserted into it. I feel like, but they're gonna say like we don't take a stance or something. You know what I mean? Right. Like we don't go one way or the other. You know, like I, mm-hmm. I, I, I can see that. Oh, so you think it's more of like a smokescreen? To me, it's yeah. a stance. Just saying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's yeah. gonna, it's gonna be in there. You know, it, it's. And I think that like it, it it's it's a great it's actually really fucking good because there is people who are like I want to get in there for that political stuff and then there are other people who are like no nah, I don't want the political fucking shit so it's like okay it's gonna be political but it's not politically charged it's like win win they're gonna pull in both of those fucking people you know yeah that's a pretty good point Ben yeah it's actually like the perfect message yeah so but, don't uh, buy this game. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna keep me from buying it or not. But uh, no, nah, I don't. If know. stuff I, like this I, keeps I, coming I, out, I'm not gonna. Kidding. I'm not gonna be happy with it. It's already. I, I don't. I don't like when this shit starts coming out. That I see it on every gaming website, and it's yeah. the same message. It just seems so coordinated. I don't. I just don't like it. It. It stinks. Something smells. They don't mm. need a round of applause. What's that for, smell? They're not that no, right. Just for coming out and saying this. It's, yeah, exactly. It's something that should probably be expected. Um, you roll your eyes at it. Yeah. You know, it's just... Yeah. Generally, don't you try not to bring <laughs> politics into your workplace as, as much as possible. I feel like that's the the polite thing to do. But it's like we're trying to escape this garbage right. ass situation that we have with twenty five candidates. Like get get for fucking. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I agree. Uh, let's wrap the show there. That's that's a good episode twenty four. Uh, thanks so much for listening. Um, I said this on the last show as well, but if you listen on iTunes and Spotify, normally um, we've put our live recording on YouTube. So if you're into that, please watch it there. Uh, also, if you enjoy the show, please uh, consider leaving us an iTunes review. Um, it really helps us out. Um, and we also put our gameplay videos on YouTube as well. So just another reason to go check out that channel. But uh, thanks so much for listening. We really appreciate it. And uh, we hopefully see you next week.